there are lots of situations where we have a list of things and we'd like to be able to perform a particular operation on each one of those things. And we can certainly implement this using a, a for loop, uh, but Python provides some nice uh, compact ways of uh, implementing these loops that have some interesting power to them. So, th so this topic is called list comprehension. And let's do a, a quick live example of this. Okay, so let's create a, a list of integers here. There we go. Oh, except I'm missing a comma. And we could certainly do, so, so let's imagine we want to uh, compute the square of each of these elements in, in this list and create a new list with those squares. So new values is that list and let's iterate uh, over, over those. So this is something that is new to you. So here we're multiplying V by itself and what new values, so new values is a list and the append function just uh, creates a new item at the end of this list and, and uh, adds this value to that new item. And at the end, let's print the new values. And there we go, let's execute that. So here we are, five squared is 25, seven squared is 49, uh, et cetera. So, so that's, that's not too bad but there is a, a more compact way of uh, implementing this. So let's do the list comprehension approach. Let me write out the code and then we'll talk about it. Uh, and let's print out new values. Okay, so, so the bracket here means that we're creating a list out of a, a sequence of things. Here's our, our four. So we're uh, stepping through the values uh, within whatever this happens to be. In this case, it's a, a list. V is the variable that gets bound to each value in sequence. And then this V times V here is uh, the thing that will be inserted into our new list. So, so the square of the current value is being inserted into the list. So let's execute that. And what you'll see is that we end up with the exact same uh, implementation as, as sorry, the exact same uh, sequence of values as we had before. Now list comprehension does, does do uh, more for us. So let me type that out here. So suppose we only want to uh, to compute the squares of certain values within our list. So there's our V times V and for V in values. And now I'm going to add onto the end of this, let's say if V is less than eight. So, so what this says is we're going to iterate over all the, the, the V's in values. And if this is true, then this value here will be inserted into our list. Okay, so, so there we go. So, uh, so we iterated five is less than eight, so that value gets added. Uh, seven is less than eight, so 49 gets added. 20 is not less than eight, so it doesn't have a corresponding element in the new list three is, so we get our nine, eight is not less than eight, so it does not get represented in this new list, and then two is uh, squared to give us our four. So I, I know this is a little bit strange syntax-wise, it takes a little bit of getting used to, uh, but it turns out to be a really nice compact way of uh, operating on uh, lists of things, or actually any collection uh, type. And, and you'll, you'll see this uh, show up in a variety of ex examples as we go through the semester.